Um, Good morning. <laughs> there's only one place to start. Uh, of course. <clears throat> since, since we last spoke to you, there's obviously been a change behind the scenes. Um, yeah. First of all, how pleased are you to have brought Carl in? I'm delighted to bring Carl in. It's, um, I think it's a great appointment for the football club. Um, he offers a, a real holistic approach to, to what we're trying to do here and how we're trying to build and, and create and move things forward. So no, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted. I'm delighted it was a smooth process with, with Cardiff um, and allowing Carl to, to, to meet his ambitions as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really pleased. When the vacancy became available, was he the first person you thought of? Yeah, Carl, somebody that, that, that I've worked closely with over five years, um, and once, once I got, I knew the, I knew how the football club operated before I came in, but I gained a greater understanding and I knew that how Carl would benefit what we're trying to achieve here. So Carl's ulti ultimately been before ahead of performance, but, but he's always more than that, that in, in, in how I seen it. And he's helped shape my way of work, um, helped shape my style previously and how I operate. Um, and he's already, for me, he's already been performing assistant manager, but really under the radar at Cardiff City in, in how he works. So I think it's a, it's a really great appointment for the football club and for me. As you've mentioned, someone you know very well from your time together at Cardiff. How, not saying that you didn't have a great relationship, by the way, when I asked this question with, with Wayne, but how important is that manager, assistant manager closeness uh, relationship in terms of success for you? Yeah, well, first of all, that's, that's why me, me and Wayne worked so well that what we did is that our relationship was has been there for 10, 12 years and will remain the best of friends for that. And, 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 and moving forward, that won't ever go away. Um, with regards to Carl, Carl's worked me at the forefront of it, if you like, for the last four or five years um, at Cardiff. And we've been some through some really good times, but also some really difficult times. So the understanding of each other and how each other works is um is, is is very clear and um we know how we both operate to try and move this team and this football club in the direction we want it to there must be part of you though that was disappointed that Wayne wanted to go somewhere else I, I'm I'm always in the case of that that Wayne wanted a change needed a change and that that was for him and I, I'm I'm Delighted for him that he's been able to move on and, and, and do it so quickly. And I, I, I generally wish him all, all the best for, for, for this season. When you say he needed and wanted a change, was that at all discussed when he signed his new contract in November? Uh, in what goes on behind closed doors, that's, that's between me and Wayne. I can't say that was a discussion point, but, but what, what we are clear on is that, that Wayne's decided to move on and, and he goes with my best wishes and, and, and the club's best wishes. I understand that. The, the thing I was trying to get at is that sort of from the outside looking in, he signed a contract, so to all intensive purposes, he's committed his future. And then a couple of months later, he's coming to you saying, I want to go somewhere else. Yeah, there's, there's always agreements in terms in contracts that, that, that come to agreements. So, so once, once they get met, then, then pe people, people ultimately can move on from them. So was there a clause in that contract that stated if, if Michael was, was here? <laughs> not, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the clauses of what the contracts are, but but hence we came to an agreement. So I think that's pretty much it, really. OK, fair enough. Um, however, it stood next to you in the dugout. It doesn't change that tomorrow is a very, very important game for you. Exactly. And, and, and that's where, where we made it quite clear to lads. And, and, and since we've come in, we, we since Carl's come in, I've, I've got to say the lads have been really responsive to Carl and really responsive to what we're trying to do. So the focus ultimately is on is on the game tomorrow against Tramia, who are third in the league. Um, and are we getting, as far as top three is concerned, are we getting anywhere into to must-win territory as far as that match is concerned, do you feel? Um, I think for me, it's, it's going back to that game-by-game -game mentality. So we focus on purely what we need to do to get our processes right tomorrow. I believe if we do that, then we get our performance right, then hopefully we get the positive result. 14 games to go. You've obviously not won in your last four. Do you think your performances in those four games deserve more points than you've got? Uh, certain moments of the game, yes. It depends how you want to look at it in the last four games. You can go, well, the four games at home and beaten, 
I was told. And if you look at last eight games, we've won four, drawn two, lost two. Um, we've had a really tough run of games. Um, and what we've got to try and now do is just focus on on Tramier and try and produce the performance that, that I know we can. And you know that tomorrow, if you start well, the fans will really get behind you. And, and I guess that's what you need to try and get the win. Yeah, that's important. But also, if we don't start particularly well, which in some games we haven't, then we still need a fan behind us to, to encourage us and help us and, and move us forward, like, like they did Saturday, really, because we didn't start particularly well. Um, but then as the game went on, and the, you know we've done better and better, and that, that, that really pleased me. Any injuries, fresh concerns that you didn't know you didn't have last week? Yeah, um, Courtney Baker Richardson is going to be out six weeks with a hamstring injury, um, and then also Josh Pass is going to be out for six weeks as well with an issue with the top of his tendon with his hamstring. So, yeah, two big misses for us. Um, that's part and parcel of football, so they're going to be out for for a period of time. Um, yeah, how, how how big a blow is that losing two of your key players, and certainly in Courtney's case, a, a big part of your strike partnership, which have done a lot of damage this season. Yeah, I look at it this way. Well, it's a chance for somebody to step up. And the lads, to be fair, have always trained so well that that we've got players in departments who can step into positions to be able to go and produce for us tomorrow. So I try not to look at it from a negative point of view. I look at it from a positive point of view that I know we got we got players who can step up to the plate and and, and hopefully deliver for us tomorrow. Great stuff. Thank you, James. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. I guess morning, James. Let's say on on that bombshell, on that bombshell. Um, but Courtney, I guess it, opportunity. Rob Streets had to be very patient if he is the man chosen tomorrow. Um, yeah, you look at it. You got Rob Street. You got Alex Fisher. You got Lewis Collins, who, who can all come into that. Timmy Abraham as well. So we, we've got we've got lads who have been training really well, um, and their attitude and application has been, I have to say, first class. I've got to say it's been brilliant. So. I have no issues with, with 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 any of them stepping up to the plate tomorrow. Uh, were they training injuries? So they, um, uh, Courtney was during the game Saturday. Oh. So if you look at the last three minutes, he's pulled up, um, which is it's it's one of those things that happens. And then Josh's Josh's we did on Tuesday morning, um, really innocuous, and how he did it. So yeah, disappointing, but that's football. That's life. We move on. We've got to learn from it, and. Um, we, we, we've got other players who are more than capable to step up. Exactly. And, um, to, uh, just on the injury front, so, um, Courtney Senior, who pictures in bib, is, how is he coming along? Is he any chance Courtney, of him this season? Yeah, Courtney's touch and go towards the end of the season. So okay. um, we, we've got that option. Um, Priestley's going to be out until the end of the season as well. Um, he's going he's gonna to need operation on his, on his knee. So he's sustained that in training. So... Yeah, we've got we've got we've got a few few players out at the minute with injuries, which so um, that's part and parcel. We've got we've got a decent size squad, we've got good players around it. So we just roll with it and and, and go go on to the next game. On that defensive side, so would you be able to if, if you needed Joe Wood or something like that, would he be able to be recalled if um I don't I don't believe so, no. Okay. Nice. Um yeah, and all all for a massive test tram here, because they're they're an odd side looking at them, because they don't concede much, but then a lot of the things they you look at them and think, well, everything suggests they should be, but what, what do they do that stops them? They're so hard to score against. Yeah, they're, they're third in the league for a reason because I think they're effective in what they do. I think they've got some really good players who can who can cope with the ball under pressure, um, play within their strengths with their two strikers, with, with Hemmings and Everett. Um, I think they've got really good wide men who can, who can get in between lines and, and, and penetrate. And they've got experience then with Clark on the back line um, that we all know about. So we've just got to then ultimately try and focus on us, on what we can do to try and exploit certain areas of the pitch against them, which they'll be looking to do the same against us. Um, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, just find on Carl, what sort of a character is he? What can we expect from him? What can you expect? From, well, if you look at Carl, Carl, the managers worked under the well. One of them just got back into League Two as manager, Mark Hughes. So he's worked under Mark Hughes, Harry Redknapp, Neil Warnock, Jimmy Floyd, Asselbank, Chris Ramsey. You look at um, Russell Slade. You look at Mick McCarthy. You look at Neil Harris. Now at Cardiff and in the coaching staff there, um, Kevin Blackwell. He's worked with some some extremely experienced managers. So 
his character is very calm. He's very collective. He's very methodical in his approach. Um, he's a very, very good man, very good family man. Um, I trust him implicitly. Um, and I trust him that he knows we, what we need to get to, what we need to get out of to get the best we possibly can. I think you'll see it Saturday in, in the way that he is with me. Um, most importantly is that, that, that we're a team trying to get the best out of the team that is in front of us. And, and it's about the players. And ultimately, we want the players to do as best they can. And I've brought staff in that I feel can do that. Morning, James. Morning, Luke. Was Jared ever considered for the role of assistant manager? Um, I think I think everybody has a consideration to things. What Jared is is a very good, very good first team coach. So um, there's certain people complement certain skill sets. So that's that's what we try and do. With Tramia's defensive record, how patient do you have to be tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, we have to be extremely patient at certain times in the game where we might have to build in a certain way and take the ball in a certain time and try and create certain overloads to try and get the pitch. Um, but we've, we've just got to keep focusing on our principles all the time and that's what we'll try and do tomorrow. Ali Cooper, I take it he's available for tomorrow? Yeah, Ali's, Ali's available for tomorrow. How much of a boost does that feel? Of course it is. Of course it is. Ollie Cooper's been excellent all season, but so has Finn Azaz and so has James White when he's come on the pitch. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm really comfortable with, with the whole squad that we've got. So I won't just single out one player because I don't think that's fair. It's all about a collective. It's all about all us in it together. But um, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what we can do on Saturday. As a manager, do you ever take goal, uh, goal? difference into consideration because at the end of the season it could come down to goal difference in terms of where you actually finish whether it's the difference between eighth and seventh or fourth and third yeah I, I, I suppose naturally you want to score more goals and concede less I think if we do that then we'd probably be top of the league so if I look at it on that sense of it but but in in, in principle yeah I can't say I look at it in a defined way right now it might become a little bit different with three or four games to go but for me right now, I just want to focus on our processes and performance to get to get the results right.